CSI2140 and AMS Machinery Manager, CSI2140 ODS Model Job Setup. My name is Johan van Pijmerook and in this video tutorial I will show you how to configure a job for an ODS or a model measurements using the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. Now, one of the benefits of using the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer is that this is a four-channel analyzer, so now ODS or model jobs can be done with the use of a triac sensor and the recommendation here is to use the Emerson triac sensor AO643TX. Now, if you connect this sensor to the CSI2140, input A is always getting the signal from the physical Z axis sensor of the triax. So that's your channel A on the data collector. Input B is always getting the signal from the physical X axis sensor of the triax. So this is always your B. And input C is always getting the signal from the physical Y-axis sensor of the triax, so this will be your C. And the reference sensor for your ODS or model job will be always connected to the D channel. Now, what is very important inside an ODS or a model job is a convention of the orientation and the polarity of your axis. You have a lot of flexibility and freedom and you can customize it and configure it how you prefer to work with that. But during this video tutorial we will only explain you the basics of the convention and show you one example. So if you have your ODS structure and you want to have you want to make an ODS structure on this block for example I just have pointed out five different points where I will want to collect data. On the NODS job you can specify your axis, so this is my X, this is my Y and this is my Z. Now, in the beginning if you install your track sensor here, so in horizontal radial direction and perpendicular to the shaft of the motor, the Z axis of the sensor, so your input A, correspond to the conventional horizontal direction, so is going to be associated with point X in the ODS. The Y axis of the sensor, so your input C, corresponds to the conventional axial direction, so is going to be associated with point Y in the ODS. The X axis, so input B, correspond to the conventional vertical direction, so it's going to be associated with point Z in the ODS. Now, this setup is valid as long as we install the sensor here in this direction on all possible points, so also here and here and here, but we have to change the convention as soon as we install the sensor, for example, in another polarity or in another orientation. Now, in this video tutorial, I will show you now how to configure a job on the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer, and in a separate video tutorial, we will collect data for those five points, and you will see there how to change the inputs. So, what you're seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. And the first thing we will do is to create an ODS model job. So, go to F12 ODS model. Go to F8 Job Manager. And we will create a new job. Okay, it has the name Job zero if you want you can change it here like you can change any job with f7 we can toggle between ods or model in this example we will configure an ods and here you first have to specify what the input sensor is so go to input sensor and i specify that the reference sensor 
is the fixed sensor is on channel D it will be on my first point in the X direction with a positive polarity so now I can configure the triac sensor here set measurement parameters and normally an LDS job will contain very often 100 or more data points but for this tutorial I will measure only 5 points so I simplify the structure I will start in point 1 you can toggle between rectangular cylindrical or spherical systems rectangular is a normal XYZ cylindrical is a tank and this is a ball for example measurement direction we will use XYZ and now for the input we have to specify here what we have explained in the beginning of the tutorial so your X is on A your Y is on C and your Z is on B here you can configure the sensors so I will work with four accelerometers here I will save also the waveforms and the last thing to do is that I also have to specify how I want to measure so go to F8 analysis setup and here I specify that I want to measure for example till 2000 Hertz with for example 1600 lines of resolutions with four averages no trigger and hanging window that is okay for setup so I accept it and when you push now once more enter you can now finish the job definition and you can activate the job and now we are ready to collect the data on those five points but as explained earlier we will show that in a separate video tutorial we are now at the end of this video tutorial please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information my name is Johan van Pijnbroek thank you for watching this video tutorial